the time has come. The boys are buzzing. Uh, we get to go play some baseball. So we are, we've cleaned up the whole house. Everything is empty. Um, here's all we got left in the room. Cleared it all out. Just got one bag left. So it has been a full year, over a year since we last reported. Been real. What's up everybody? My name is Aiden McIntyre. I'm a baseball player with the Oakland Athletics Organization and this is my channel. So, like I said, it's been uh, over a year since we reported spring training in 2020. COVID happened, we got sent home after like a week, had to pack our bags and go. Um, and it's been a very long year of training and getting ready, but just excited to be getting going. So, of course, due to COVID, there's a lot of protocols, uh, new rules, a lot of restrictions. Uh, but honestly, I think after like a full year, everyone's in agreement that if we get to play baseball, we don't really care. So yeah, so we'll see what the restrictions are like during spring training, um, into season, stuff like that. So I do plan on bringing you guys content in season. Uh, we'll be doing vlogs from road trips to home games, uh, kind of showing you guys what minor league life is like. Um, so if you guys are planning on watching that or have been enjoying all the content right now, make sure you guys subscribe, like, um, also share the channel with other people who might be interested in the content as well. So I appreciate you guys for watching this past off season and now uh, we finally get to go back and I get to do a job which is a pretty great job which is baseball. So but yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well and I appreciate all the support. Got a good setup. Get to catch some sunlight, not actually go into the sunlight in the next few days. All right, so we are officially checked into spring training and day one of quarantine. So day one activities consist of the new TV show I found, The Outsider. Uh, we got some Lynn Benton Juco baseball, doing some journaling. So spring training looks different this year than any year in the past due to COVID, COVID protocols, restrictions, um, testing and all that. And we definitely have some new rules and new protocols for season. I'll tell you guys some of the interesting ones, um, but honestly, for the most part, nobody really cares because if we get to play baseball, then we're good with whatever protocols we have to follow. All right, so for day one of quarantine and kind of what spring training looks like this year, get to watch the brother play some baseball. Luckily, we got live streams, definitely looking for activities. Um, so it looks like it'll be about a two day quarantine. Um, making sure that everyone comes in, everyone gets tested, and then uh, we have to wait for the results to get back before we can actually get to the field and start training and stuff. So like I said, we definitely have some different rules and protocols for this year. Um, just to read a few of them that are interesting. Most, most of them are pretty common sense, but we do get our own rooms this year because of COVID. Um, try to keep guys a little bit more separate. Sunflower seeds are gone, banged, done. So uh, RIP to chewing sunflower seeds. There's mostly a lot of rules, like as far as spring training, not getting played in front of fans. Um, but again, we're getting back to baseball. So uh, I think also a lot of the rules and protocols might shift um, with the more players getting vaccinated and more guys kind of getting um, into season, getting vaccinated, and hopefully teams and some of their protocols and restrictions will loosen up. Um, but that's what we got for right now. We have rules about dining. Um, dining has to either be like delivered in your own room or um, can be outdoors. So finding places that are outdoors, restaurants, um, which is great in Arizona because Arizona has a lot of them. I'm not sure about places that are cold. So depending on season, that'll be interesting. But yeah, so for day one, already did our testing, now quarantining, waiting to hear news. So TV show recommendations, I'm crushing some TV shows, crushing some trainer work and uh, gonna bring you guys some content, vlog content. So hopefully we survive day one and day two. Shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta figure out stuff to do in the room. So it's a fun time, but that is a wrap from day one of quarantine. And I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow, but hopefully it will be more interesting than this.
It's day two of quarantine and we are trying to keep the energy high. So today, try to be a little active. Um, I'm gonna get into some coffee, and get into a hotel room workout, um, and show you guys the breakfast that was prepared for us, um, and kind of talk about what day two looks like. But for the most part, biggest thing is try to move the body a little bit, uh, try to keep the energy and the vibes up. Uh, so that is today. This is fun. It's kind of fun. I'm busy. I don't do spinning well. All right, so we have our hotel coffee, um, but we upgraded. So if you remember from Instructs, um, the coffee at the hotel is not very good. Since the coffee is not good, I was prepared this time. We have these little pike, you can get them in any flavor, but do pike place roast and it's just like instant coffee. So you can just put it at the bottom of the cup, heat up the water, and you automatically have Starbucks coffee, which again, not isn't the best coffee in the world, but it is better, significantly better than hotel room coffee. So this is what we're gonna get started with, to try to, you know, get it amped up a little bit to get a hotel room in. All right, so all we have for hotel room, lacrosse ball for rolling out, J-bands, multi-purpose workout bands. And one of these, so these are like yoga mats. Always bring one of them, I pack it in my bag because it works well as a yoga mat on a hotel room floor, which you probably don't want to lay on. Um, it also works as a towel, so and you definitely want a towel, so that's what we got. So everything today is gonna be body weight, um, and just, I guess, creative, so. So since I want to be a good uh, hotel neighbor, I throw out some AirPods and probably listen to overly aggressive music to try to get our mind right. <laughs> minutes of that. Do it in minute intervals and then uh, do some mobility, uh, deep tissue work next. So we got some cardio, heart rate going. Um, actually, bro, really good sweat. Also turned up the hotel room to like 78, which I'm gonna have to turn down. Um, but next we'll go into arm routine. Just honestly, whatever sort of workout we can do when all you have is bands. Um, and that's it. No excuses to have flat arms and not have arm care. Even if you don't have anything but bands or a hotel floor. Bench press.
All right, so that is the majority of the workout. But day two of quarantine, light successful workout. There we go. We are off for day one at the field. Get to check into the locker room and actually throw some baseballs. Yet another beautiful day in Arizona. So we're through with the first few days of protocol, uh, quarantine, testing, physicals, all that, which always comes before we actually get on the field. So today we get to check in to the locker rooms, kind of unpack all of our stuff, get settled in. That's about all I know actually, so. So that is a wrap from the first few days of quarantine, COVID protocol, um, and getting to check into the locker. So I appreciate you guys for watching um, and I'm excited to keep bringing you guys content during spring training and uh, as we get into season. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. Appreciate everyone for watching. like the healthiest Easter basket slash also still full of candy. Let's go. Shout out mom. You're a real one. Oh. Mm-hmm. Got that. Mm-hmm. Good job.